Hello everyone, right here I have a 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace 1.4 TSI Life. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Standard for the Tiguan All Space in Malaysia is VW's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the indentation on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just wait a moment and tap the area again behind any of the front door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry is a keyless push button start system. So to start the Tiguan All Space, make sure the key is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button located right down here. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is what the Tiguan All Space uses. The live trim comes with a leather wrapped steering wheel with a flat bottom design and sport grips at 10 and 2. The 1.4 TSI engine in Malaysia is paired solely to a 6 speed direct shift gearbox, otherwise known as DSG in short. DSG is what VW calls its dual clutch automated manual transmission. DSG uses two sets of clutches, one for odd gears and another for even gears. The aim of a DSG is to provide better fuel consumption and faster shift times over a conventional automatic transmission. This transmission features a sport mode and tiptronic manual shifting, the latter controlled by either the gear lever or the pedal shifters behind the top two steering wheel spokes. Front and rear parking sensors along with a reverse camera are standard items across the range. The reverse camera features active guidance signs, and to the right of the camera display, one can select several different views as well as adjust the brightness, the contrast, and the color of the display. To the left of the camera display, the parking sensors diagram and the reverse camera can be turned off or on. Safety features in the Tiguan All Space include 6 airbags, an interlock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, anti skid regulation, Hill hold control, lane assist, a driver alert system, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two middle row seats. Both the Life and the Elegance trims get the same 18 inch Frankfurt alloy rims. This Tiguan All Space rides on 23555 R18 Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires. Disc brakes are standard. The ones in front are ventilated, while the rear ones are solid. The suspension is made up of McPherson struts in front and a multi-link setup at the back. The name Tiguan comes from combining the German words for tiger, tiger, and iguana, leguan, together. 
VW presented the concept car at the 2006 Los Angeles Auto Show as a preview of the Tiguan. The production Tiguan was revealed in June 2007 before it officially debuted at the 2007 Frankfurt Motor Show. The Mark 1 Tiguan was given a facelift for the 2012 model year, before the Mark 2 model debuted at the 2015 Frankfurt Motor Show for the 2016 model year. The Mark 2 Tiguan now rides on the VW Group NQB platform, and it features a boxier design compared to the more rounded design of its predecessor. The Mark 2 Tiguan is available in either short wheelbase or long wheelbase body styles. The long wheelbase Tiguan was presented at the 2017 North American International Auto Show. The Mark II Tiguan was given a facelift in July 2020 for the 2021 model year, and along with the facelift, VW also introduced the Tiguan R Performance model, the Tiguan E Hybrid, and the China exclusive Tiguan X Coupe SUV. The long wheelbase Tiguan's facelift arrived in May 2021 for the 2022 model year. Depending on the market, the long wheelbase Tiguan is sold as either Tiguan Allspace, Tiguan L, or simply just Tiguan. In Malaysia, the Tiguan debuted in short wheelbase form in April 2017, before being replaced by the Tiguan Allspace in August 2020. The facelifted Tiguan Allspace went on sale in March 2022. Currently, there are three variants on sale, 1.4 TSI Life DSG, 1.4 TSI Elegance DSG, and 2.0 TSI for Motion R-Line DSG. Under the bonnet of this Tiguan Allspace is VW Group's EA211, 1.4L, dual of 8 cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine. This engine features direct injection and variable valve timing. It produces 148 horsepower at 5000 to 6000 rpm and 250 Nm of torque at 1500 to 3500 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 9.5 seconds, and the top speed is 200 km per hour. The fuel tank carries 60 litres of petrol, and the combined fuel consumption for the Tiguan Allspace 1.4 TSI DSG is 7.7 .7 litres per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 137 grams per kilometer, and the Tiguan Allspace is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the Tiguan Allspace include automatic auto-leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED cornering lights, LED indicators for the sides, LED sequential front and rear indicators, LED front and rear fog lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, anodized silver roof rails, silver side mirrors, body colored door handles, and dual exhaust pipes. Speaker, that button operates the powered rear hatch, bottle holder, storage, mirror controls, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered, and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock, central locking, storage, And the driver's seat in this Tiguan Allspace Life does get full manual adjustments. This lever adjusts the lumbar support. This knob adjusts the seat back. This lever adjusts the seat height. While this lever down here adjusts the seat position. Under seat storage for the driver's side. Alright, so let's go ahead and see how it revs.
triple zone automatic climate control system. On off, these are the front controls and there are a separate set of controls for the rear which I'll show you later. But back to the front controls, driver side temperature, passenger side temperature, automatic mode, front and rear defrost, different modes, sync means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control the temperature for all three zones, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature controls. Recirculation, air conditioning, fan speed, and if you hit menu, you can bring the climate control menu on the infotainment display. Below, storage, together with a power outlet, as well as a couple of USB-C ports. Parking sensors. Right here is the Tiguan All Space electronic parking brake. It is currently engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push the lever down. To engage it, simply pull the lever back up. There is an auto hold function for the parking brake whereby say you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or traffic jam, the car is in drive, you lift your foot off the brake. With the auto hold function activated, the car won't actually move forward or roll back. The Tiguan All Space comes with the Discover Pro touchscreen head unit. The system features a 9.2 inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and navigation. The Life and the Elegance trims come with 8 speakers for the sound system. The stop sound system that the Tiguan All Space Life uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current song playing information. Right here is the song title, but the song artist and album will show up here if available. The album art will show up here again if available. Below, you can play pause, go back a song, go for a song, song duration, you can activate your shuffle and repeat options, and right here, you can bring up your love and suggest less like these options. Hit the playing next button to go to your list of um, uh, songs that will be playing next. And if you hit back, you can go back to your main music menu where you can look at your recently added music, look at your playlists, artists, albums, songs, and downloaded items. Right above, you can go between um, library, playlists, and radio. And if you hit this button right here, you can bring up your main CarPlay menu where you can access your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages now playing, go back to the main VW menu, bring up your podcasts, so on and so forth. And to the right as well, you have shortcut buttons for your Google Maps, music, and phone. Right here, we are in the list of connected devices for your uh, CarPlay or Android Auto menus. If you hit Info, you can bring up your App Connect information. And Settings brings up your App Connect settings where you can select your or rather pair your mobile device and bring up your mirror link option. If you hit menu, we bring up your list of menus where you can go to your radio menu, telephone menu, navigation. Under navigation, right here we have your list of um, favorite destinations. Here we have your navigation guidance instructions, if available. Right here, your navigation entries. And right above, you can search for a destination via address, points of interest, or favorites. Right here, we are in the map. Press that button to bring up the um, navigation options. Right here, we can bring up your volume controls, automatic day-night mode, bring up your settings. 
with root guidance settings, navigation announcements, basic functions. You can search for destination right here. And right here, you can change your map view. But apart from your navigation, you also have your driver assist menu, sound system, sound system settings with your balance fader, bass mid treble, your various volume settings, and your sound settings with your touch screen tone, menu button tone, and audible hand gesture feedback. You also have your vehicle menu. Right here, driving data since the last startup, driving data long term, and driving data since the last refuel. Within the three driving data menus, you have your distance traveled, elapsed time, average speed, and average fuel consumption. The range is down here, and if you hit selection, you can go to your digital cockpit settings. You can change the view, change what is being displayed. You can go back to your driving data and bring up your vehicle status with your, well, vehicle status as well as your tire pressure monitoring system. Under settings, you can turn on or off your electronic stability control as well as set your tires, lights, parking and maneuvering, mirrors and wipers and all that. You can go to your CarPlay menu and Media menu. Right here, your air conditioning menu, help, and settings. Under settings, you can set your screen settings, time and date, language, units, so on and so forth. Hit home to go to the home page. Right here, we can look at the compass, driving data, help, vehicle status, favorites menu. And right here, navigation, Bluetooth telephone menu, as well as your CarPlay menu. If you just hit the power button once, you mute the system, press and hold the button to turn off the system, and the volume controls are down here. Tiny front quarter windows. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, twist this knob to the bottom left. If you twist it to the bottom right, that activates the heated side mirrors. Electronic central locking. Wiper controls. Seat track. Voice control. View changes the view of the instrument cluster. And the up, down, left, right and OK buttons control the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Up and down goes between the different sub-menus, left and right goes between the different main menus, and hit OK to select. Right now, media menu, Bluetooth telephone menu, vehicle status, driving data. Currently, it is displaying the digital speedometer, but you can also view your oil temperature, trip computer, instant fuel consumption, overview, range, convenience consumers, and back to the digital speedometer. Assist systems, navigation, and back to the audio menu. Volume controls, your cruise control and speed limiter controls. And this one brings up the assist systems menu on the instrument cluster. Indicator controls. And the steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Storage. Storage or cup holders. And you have a cover if you do not want this area exposed. Adjustable front center armrest with storage down below. 
frameless auto dimming rear view mirror LED front reading lights they also double up as your interior lights this one turns on the lights at the back well, this one turns on or off the lights when you open the doors. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and an LED light. And also for the driver is a grip handle. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speakers, storage, window control, and to gain access to the last row of seats, pull the lever, flip the seat back forward, then move the whole seat forward. Now that I am in the last row of seats, I did set the middle row seats to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a tiny bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the middle row seats. I don't get any leg room at all. And my head is almost touching the roof. I only have about this much in terms of headroom. It is fine back here for shorter journeys but I guess the last row of seats are really suited for smaller individuals. On the left side you have a cup holder together with a bit of storage but for the right side you only have a bit of storage now for the middle row seats they split 60 40 and to adjust the angle of the seat back you use this strap and you use the same strap to flip the seat backs down to adjust the position of the middle row seats Use this lever down here for this side and there is another lever on that side for the left seat and the middle seat. Same goes for that strap. That strap adjusts the left seat and the middle seat. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. As mentioned earlier on, I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And I get about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually not too bad back here. The seats are relatively nice and comfortable. And you can always adjust the position of the middle of seats to suit your needs. On the front seat backs, you have storage pockets down below and right above. Rear aircon vents in the middle. With the aforementioned rear climate control system, you can adjust the temperature on either sides of the display, which is in the middle. A single USB-C port down here together with a power outlet. Rear center armrest for the middle with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles and hooks. You can also find hooks on the B pillars. Rear LED reading slash interior lights. It's 
storage areas right here. And right here. There are three ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2022 Tiguan Allspace Life. Boot space in the Tiguan All Space with all the seat bags in place is 230 litres. Fold the thorough seat bags down by the levers next to the thorough seat headrests and the boot space increases to 700 litres. With both the middle and the thorough seat bags folded, boot space then becomes 1775 litres. On both sides of the boot are storage areas and levers to fold the middle seat bags down. To the left of the boot is an LED light and a power outlet while to the right of the boot is a torch light and a hook. Under the boot floor is a place to store the cargo cover when not in use, along with the vehicle's spare tyre, jack and toolkit. Adjustable headrests for all rows of seats in this car. And I did make a mistake on that side where I said the middle row seat split 60-40. They actually split 40-20-40. To fold down only the middle seat in the middle row, push this button and flip the seat back down. Window control, bottle holder, storage, speaker and the front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side including your manual lumbar support and manual height adjustment. You also have the same under seat storage on this side. storage pocket down here nicely sized glove box you can have the option of having the glove box chilled just by twisting the knob right here grip handle for the front passenger 
And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with an LED light as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan All Space 1.4 TSI Live. Thanks for watching and goodbye.